Welcome to another unit in this Excel course. This time I'm going to talk about how we can actually build our own menus in Excel. In particular, if in VBA we already build our own macros, how we can assign these macros to specific parts in this menu. So how can we get a new menu part in this context? How can we get a new section? And how can we get each of these commands with their own icon for our uh, VBA programs, VBA macros. Well, it's easier than one might think. We simply go to File, Options, and here to the part Customize Ribbon. As you can see in this case, I'm getting an information about all the tabs which are available, which are already activated but well that's not so interesting at the moment the more interesting part down here I have the part new tab I can even move this to the position where I want this situated in my menu so here I'm putting this at the very end and then I can remain uh, name this so for example I can call this my macros and in this tab I also have these groups. So this group, for example, is called clipboard. This is called font. That's here where I already have a new group, which I can also rename, which, for example, I could call data bank commands. Could even select an icon for this. At this point, doesn't really make so much sense. So just stick with this. If I directly click OK, you see he builds my new tab, but there is nothing in this. Well, the reason for this is he already knows the name of this group, but there's nothing in the group. So what should he report? So if you actually want to add something to your new group, go back to Options, Customize Ribbon to our particular macro tab and here this group, and then on the left, we simply select the part Macros and you get an overview about all the macros in your data set, uh, in your file. So here, for example, we have the part Add Person, Delete Person. So let's put those two into our new part. And we have like Open Data Set, Save Data Set, and for example, report. So at this point, if I would just click OK, he would actually take these names. That's usually a bit unwieldy. So let's just rename them. For example, add person. And for new person, we then select a corresponding icon. For, for example, here, this empty sheet. And we have delete person. Again, I'm just writing this and not the name of the macro, delete person. Take a look, what could we select for this? Let's say we take here this sign, or let's go with this cancel sign. Then we have open and save data set. Well, similarly, open data set. And well, for open, let's stick with the open part with this folder icon and with save similarly we go with save data set and we select the save icon then we only have report savings well let's go with report for example with the printer icon it's not really print but it's like reporting printing the report or something click ok here as well Click OK. And I can go back to my menu. And I see at this point he added all of my different parts, my different commands, into this first group, which is here is called Data Bank Commands. So it looks already more or less like this. I can also then stack them on each other. But at this point, let's just keep it as it is. So here we have all the different commands which might be interesting. 
and which actually offer an advantage because at this point we can actually lock for example our users out of doing anything about our code so the only possibility they have to access our code is either via developers and the macro part but for this they need to know how to actually work with macros but much more easily they simply go to this part my macro and here they have a direct easy to use menu with all the particular commands for this sheet. So this actually makes it much easier to have someone else work with the Excel sheets you design and with the VBA code you design. So well, that's everything I wanted to talk about. We now know how we can actually build our own tabs, our own menu parts, how we can add new groups and new commands to each of the groups. And that's basically it. So I say goodbye and see you next time.